Louisiana, two weeks after devastating tornadoes touched down in our area, locals are still on a long road to recovery. KPLC's John Kessler spoke to two Sulphur residents who are trying to put the pieces back together ahead of hurricane season. Driving through the city of Sulphur, the damage from two weeks ago is still evident. Fallen trees, slanted power lines, and broken signs line the streets. Claudette Morgan has lived at her residence for more than 20 years and says the storm two weeks ago was the worst she's ever seen. Two 60-foot trees are down in her backyard with more waiting to fall. Well, we, we were watching KPLC and we were watching to see when they tell us to go and they told us to go then, right then. So we did. We went right in the hallway and shut the doors and it hit. And it was a tornado and it broke the two trees apart, the two trees, and uh, ended up on the house and in the yard. Barbara Stump, who moved in with Morgan after her apartment was destroyed in Hurricane Laura, says she's lucky she survived so many storms, but she wants to see more action being done for Southwest Louisiana storm cleanup. It's weird when you come out here and see this yard like this, because the yard was so pretty before that. We could sit out here and listen to the birds singing. No, we can't do anything out here. We're, we're both old uh, and we need somebody to come and clear it out. Morgan says she and Stump are at a loss as to what to do next. With insurance taking time to fix the issue, she says she still has hope and urges the community to watch and listen to the warning signs and alerts. I've been getting all kinds of estimates from roofers and yard people and it's a mess. It's uh, a lot. They're all surprised when they come through the gate that there's so much. We need the money. Calcasieu needs it. Just get ready for it because it's